I'm an inspiring Leonardo da Vinci. I read his book and that painting of him, you know, it's it's based off a description of what he looked like. It's not probably accurate enough. But um I don't know, I'm not I don't I don't idolize men or anybody. But um I'm a I'm a lot like him because I want at least five careers in my lifetime. And my first career, I want to have it be locomotive mechanic. I want to go to a school for it, learn all the anatomy, which I'm doing right now, of um, locomotives, all diesel mechanics and the trains itself. And I want to um, have that be my career for maybe five years and then learn something else. But you shouldn't do the same thing for the, like forever. And I want to just put that on my uh, bucket list for things I accomplished. You know, I, I had a career in locomotives, and then it could be airplane mechanic. But I'm not really, I'm not really interested in the airplanes at all. My brother, um, my brother has a two year old. I think he's two right now. He just had he had a kid two years ago, and I don't really have a relationship with my brother at all to um, interact with him. But he was in a hospital. He apparently had like a stroke, they say. And maybe it was caused by stress. Now, I'm working two jobs and I'm only getting five hours of sleep a day. And I don't want that to be my life forever because I'm trying to pay for something I'm not going to say. But I also want to save up for um, a trade school for the locomotive program. But I have the ability to do that because I don't have any children. I don't I don't want kids because I don't have a career. I don't have my life together where I'm, I'm able to support a family. You know, I know a couple of people I grew up with that are not like my family blood related. But it was just, uh my dad's uh, girlfriend's nephew. He had his first child at like 18, 19 I think he has like five, six kids now, maybe more than that. But there's no way he can support all those children and still maintain himself. You cannot be a father to a bunch of kids from different relationships. And you're probably not married to none of these women. I don't know if my brother is with the mother of his kid. I don't, I don't know him like that. But I, but and I asked him. We talked on the phone. I said, "Do you feel like your the, your ch- your child is um, a little bit too much to handle?" And he didn't he didn't say. He said kids are a blessing, but I feel like it probably is a lot on you if you have to ask for help from other people. I think it's a lot on you. Don't have kids when you're not ready. As as a um, when you when you can't take care of yourself enough, don't have children. Because once you have kids, it's uh, really hard to obtain the things that you want out of life. And I'm not I'm not going to tell him this, but um, because he he always would tell me things about myself, but I'm not going to tell him this. But his life is going to be a lot more difficult raising a child. Because where the where we at right now with inflation and gas and food going up, it's not going to be easy doing all those things. Children, it take up a lot of money. That's why I advocate don't just have kids because in the black community, people a lot of this is why people have kids most most of the time. It just happened. That's all it is. They have kids because it just happened. Most of black ki- most of black life starts because it just happened. Like, and I'm I'm saying just, it just happened because when an episode of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air when Will Will's dad walked out of his life and he came back like 14 years later, he said to Uncle Phil, he said, "You think I want this? It just happened." And that's black life right there. It just happened, you know. They didn't probably have enough money for an abortion that that which is good. So they they just dealt with the fact that it just happened and they had the child. And it's no sense of planning, you know. 
it's like it's no sense of like you know responsibility at, in some cases. Like my um, I don't, I don't really call her my sister, but my like my half sister. Um, I, I don't really talk to her. She just happened, you know. My dad didn't, and I I, I kind of made a joke about this. My dad um didn't even know she was she she existed, and it, and it was this thing like it was just like um I don't, I don't know how I worded that joke out, but it was, it was just like that's that's what I'm saying right there. He didn't know she was she was she she was his um child, and not that um he walked out of he he didn't let her in his life, but it was just like. I never want to do that. I never want to be in a relationship where I get someone pregnant and I don't even know we have a child together. But as a man, he did step up. He, you know, he took care of responsibility. And I heard, I heard like my mother say that, um, she, um, what was it? (laughs) She said that she wanted someone else to be the father or something like that. But that's, but that's what I'm saying right there. I um I just think he's stressed out from just the child and it's just really hard. It is it's hard out here. But I hope he can um you know you know just deal with it and, and take care of it. But that's what I learned. Don't have kids if you're not ready cuz you're basically going to be setting them up for everything that you said you were not going to have your kids like when you when you are living paycheck to paycheck which is basically like poverty itself when you have to work two jobs it's poverty itself that child is going to be at risk of those same obstacles so i say this to say don't have kids if you're not ready wait or just don't have any at all and don't have kids if you are um you know, at a high risk of passing down like certain birth defects.